Welcome back everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of Mesozoica. Um, as you can see, we're starting off this episode with some glitched out guests, like always. Um, they were running just a little bit ago. Oh, there they go. I'm not really sure what they're running from. Usually they do that if a dinosaur is out of its pen, I believe. But I'm pretty positive none of them are out of their pens, so I'm really confused. We also have some stuck Gallimimuses right here that we're gonna try to fix. That would have been a good opportunity for a thumbnail. Darn. I think that's actually, yeah, that's what I used for the last episode, so... Yeah, welcome to episode two of Mesozoica. Um, I have a few things to show you before we get started. Um, as you can see here, I've built the next three exhibits so they're ready and you don't have to see me like just click a bunch of places, plop down a bunch of trees, even though that is thrilling, I know. Um, you don't have to see it, so th you're welcome for that. Um, and I've kind of tested this out. I'm going to start in between every episode. I'm going to try to do at least one thing to make the park look a little better from, like, outside. Not from outside, but, like, to if you were a guest, I'm gonna, I want to make the aesthetic look better. Instead of just focusing on the dinosaurs and that awesome baryonyx right there, like, that just looks amazing to me. But, like, just adding this makes it look a little better. And this isn't even... I don't even like this that much. I don't like what I did with the bushes. I think it... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Tell me how you guys think about it. But, uh, in this episode, we are actually going to add three dinosaurs, I think. And I have something else planned to show everyone how to build a little bit, just to make sure. I'll do that at the end, though, so people can skip it if they need to. If they already know how to build. Um, I think I set up for three carnivores? maybe that could be wrong I don't actually think I picked anything for this one I think we're just kind of waiting and seeing but I know what I want in these two so in this one in the smaller one I think it's right here maybe yeah for the smaller one I definitely want velociraptors oh that was loud I still hope you can hear me in this screen because velociraptor is my second favorite dinosaur in this game so far and because I just think I think they really nailed it with this dinosaur in this game. Um, it looks amazing. It's probably a little bigger than it was in real life, but this they're not really going for realism, and that's fine with me. Um, it looks really good. All the skins look great. I couldn't can't complain about any of them. And I think we're gonna add one of every one, just to be able to showcase how great they actually do look. Oh, I'm out of money, so we're not gonna do that quite yet. So what we're gonna do? Oh, is it is it gonna go? Yeah, there we go. I know there are some problems with that screen freezing for some people. I'm hoping we're gonna get some money sometime soon. Uh, this hatchery because it's lit up, and Velociraptor is all the way over here. I didn't actually unlock any of the skins that I really wanted, so that kind of sucks. But we're gonna go one of you, Rustic Blue. Actually, I lied. Rustic Blue is one of my favorites. But it's not my one favorite. Is Ice my one favorite? You'll never know. Actually, you will know because I will tell you which one's my favorite. Spitfire. I have to say them so I remember in a little bit whenever I have to get the ones that I didn't get. And Countryside. Not a big fan of you, I'll be honest. Countryside is probably my least favorite. But yeah, that is what we're going to do in this exhibit. I made it really jungly esque kind of as much as jungly esque I can make it but um I'm really happy with how this one has turned out so far and it's gonna obviously look a lot better with a bunch of raptors running around a raptor pack uh, our baryonyx is just looking adorable as always adorable is a way to describe him and his like little lip right there which looks amazing I've said it so many times, but the dinosaurs, I love the models in this game. The animations are pretty good, too, but the models are just great. I see we have a dinosaur sleeping over there, a Gallimimus. Up here, you can see how much money we have and how many guests and dinosaurs we have. I'll kind of just go over while we're waiting. We need more money anyway while we're going over this. I'll scroll around and uh, look for some dinosaurs and kind of explain some stuff about the game. Yeah, this is how many dinosaurs we have, obviously. Uh, if we go up here, blueprints, these are just blueprints that you, I don't, that you download, but, um, I don't really know what this is, like, why they put it in here. This came with the game, like, it's in everyone's game, and it, it's a small house, and I kind of figured since they have everything 
I'll show in a little bit. You'll understand more. But I thought I knew what it was for, but I have no idea what this is for. I guess if you want a random house in your uh, park, in your dinosaur park. It doesn't make much sense to me. But uh, there's that. Here are all of the categories. Like, you can pick, you can sort by categories for stuff to build with. This is pretty much everything you can build with, except for the blueprints and the fences and paths. Um, we're just going to go through all. This is the vegetation, rocks. Uh, that's actually glitched. So we're not just going to go through all. We're going to go, interactive is the most fun. See, they have all these random chairs and stuff that you can build with. Oh, gate. We're going to get this here in a little bit. But, like, these are obviously house chairs, and as you will see in other, they have, like, a bathtub, and a bed, and a faucet. Like, what would you need that stuff for? And I figured they put that all in, and it would be in the house to show off their modular system, but it's not in the house, so that's why I'm confused. But anyway, yeah, so that's just a bunch of stuff that you can use, and some of it is really nice, and adds a lot of detail to stuff. And we'll actually look in this visitor center, they might have put something in here, uh, maybe, no, it doesn't look like they did, but they did up here. Um, you can see where they've put, this is man-made by someone, they made this and saved it and then put it as a blueprint. But you can see how much detail they put into it, they just were able to put all these, um, what are these called, tables? They even put this little add sign here for Cinerex, which we don't have one of. They put this little holograph thing in here. Like, what? Well, you don't need to do that. Oh, just kidding. That looks amazing. Yeah, they did need to do that. I would have been mad if they didn't do that. Just kidding. It looks amazing. But, um, yeah, so that looks really nice. By the way, our name, our park name is El Parque de Dinosaurios, I think. Yeah, because I couldn't think of anything else. It kind of just popped into my mind. That's the park of dinosaurs in Spanish but uh... yeah that's that this is just fences and paths uh... you see me use a bunch hatcheries this is just where you can get to all your hatcheries it was core blocks but people were getting confused as to how you actually get to your hatcheries so they changed it to hatcheries I believe I think that's what happened anyway um, World map, we've been there, don't really want to go there because the whole loading thing, and it's really loud. Time, this is how you change your time of day. I prefer to keep it daytime, because daytime is the best, and you can see the best, and it's so beautiful. Help? Oh, this is done here. This, if you need help with anything, you can just go through here, and it tells you how to do it. And now this is going to be there for the rest of the time, and I don't really want it. Oh, Okay. I don't. I didn't think I could do that, but I did it, so that's good. Park information. That's just showing this that you have up here. Don't really need that up. I'm gonna get rid of that actually. And uh, so that's all the stuff up here to familiarize to to familiarize yourself with that. Um. Let's see what else you can do. Yeah, like I did in the last episode. If you press T, it changes the uh, whole camera view. Like your it gives you different controls so it makes it easier to like I guess walk around as if you were a guest or get to one place in particular or like fly around I think is like the official term that they used but yeah that's nice it's handy I prefer to use be spend most of my time in this regular view however um when you are building with the modular system I guess we have enough money now to do this to show this off this is the part that I said you could skip, but like I'm kind of putting it in the middle here now because I'm running out of money. So, yeah, to rotate 90 degrees, to rotate anything 90 degrees, when you're building, you press Z, and that just rotates it 90 degrees. And what this is, this is just a core block like this is over here, or so is the Cinerex, but it's a hamburger kiosk where people can buy food or whatever you want to imagine they're buying. I'm sure they'll add more here later, but this is the only thing we have for now. And how people can make this kind of stuff over here is through the building box part that they put in. And there's all kinds of stuff that you can put. And if you've played Planet Coaster, then you've definitely, you're definitely familiar with this and you definitely know how it works. But um, I'll get, I'm kind of, I'm not going to build anything spectacular here. I'm just going to kind of show you what it is. But uh, so we have, it's kind of hard to see, but this is 2x2. Two two. This is 4x4. Four four. Mostly what you're going to want is 4x4. Four and how this building was designed, and I'm not sure why, but it just is how it is, and I think all the other ones were like this too, is they were designed to have one of these put on every side of it, like this, and then like that, no, like that, 
I believe. And then, like, that. And on the front, they... This one, in particular, should have this or that. I'm not really sure which one. I'm going to go with that one. Nope, that's wrong. That definitely looks wrong and it's glitching. So I'm just going to do this for the non-glitchy purposes. I'm going to do that. So this is how that building was designed to look. Like, for... I, not That's not how it was designed to look. You can make it look however you want. But, like, that's how the walls were designed and I don't know why but it just makes everything it makes the whole building process a lot easier if you make sure you do that to start off and let's say we wanted to put like make it seem like it kind of went into the ground back here which I don't know that's just the first thing that came to my mind to uh, do that we would all we would do is just place that there and place this over here and I think that's lined up yeah, that's lined up well enough. And go down to a roof piece. Uh, this one is the 4x4 four four straight roof piece. And rotate it around. And it fits right there. So see, you can kind of imagine, I guess, that they have maybe like a little storage bunker down there or something. But um, let's say, let's look at something else we might want to put on this side. If we wanted to put a... They gave them a little, like, this has a pizza wall piece that we can put anywhere we want. And you can go down here, and you can push no grid. No, we, that's already no grid. You can align the surface, so any surface, it will align to it, as that's pretty obvious. And that's really nice. Align to anything, I don't really know what that is, to be honest. No idea. Don't align same thing as align anything. I usually align this. Wait, what's this? That was align the surface position. None of those seem like they actually do anything, but align the surface is what I usually use because we would be able to place that right up here if we wanted. And that's what we're going to do. And I really like this looks that looks fine, but what if say I wanted to put it somewhere else? What if I wanted to rotate it? Well, they have these buttons up here. You can rotate it, and that's what this is for. You can pick which axi or axis you'd like to rotate it, and you could do that. I wish it would rotate it in place. That is one thing I wish that they really would do instead of rotating around in a circle like this. That would make it a whole lot easier. But say I wanted it to go at like that angle, um, I would do that and then press move. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see. Yeah. Okay. If and then if I wanted to keep it like this. Then I can move it up like that and use these act or these uh, this axis. If I clicked align the world space, and there we go. Oh, but look, look at that. It's kind of sticking into the building a little bit. If I didn't want that, all I would have to do is drag it out like that, and there we go. It's not sticking into the building very much anymore. Um, so we have our little pizza restaurant here now. So that's how you can do that. There is some other stuff you can do. Wow, building. Um, we need a roof. I can't forget about that. So what kind of roof do we want? Actually, I don't know if any kind of roof is going to fit on just this little piece, this little place. What if we want a really tall roof? What we would do is you have, you could do this, and if you hold shift, it, you can go up or down wherever it is. And so I hold shift until I want it up to the right height, and there we go. Only it glitched out and went over there for some reason, which I really don't want it to do. But it did it, so there we go. And it stays at that same height, so you can always just go back there and then delete the other one if you want. Um, what else? So what next? We actually need a roof part. Well, we have a few options. We could... I'm sure they put in a piece so we would be able to fit something like that. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's what this piece would do. Is if we wanted to do this, then we would rotate it like that. Go over here and hold... go up. And I was wrong. That actually doesn't fit. So, let's see if it does after we rotate it and then move it. Does it? It, in fact, does not. So, we might be able to rotate it and look okay, but that's not what we're going to do. What we're going to do right now is delete this. And you can, del or you can pick multiple at once. You can click this and then control and click, and then I would be able to move both of them if I wanted. But I don't really want that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click this one, and I can 
this is another thing I don't really know how to demonstrate that. I mean I can just show you this scales I'm actually gonna do this there's this is the button that I'm gonna show off that I really love duplicate selected that just makes another one of whatever you have selected and then you're able to move it wherever you want and this isn't really what you're supposed to use it for right now but I'm using this to show something else you can scale and you can scale any way you can scale that way you can scale that way you can scale this way or you can just scale the whole thing up or down and keep the same like proportions but that's not what we're going to do right now. What we're going to do right now to make to finish this roof off is go to duplicate selected and just keep moving it over until it looks good and you can't really notice that there's a space in between. And I think that'll look okay. We'll be able to see it's kind of all going to look the same color and I'm not sure if I can change that now with duplicate selected. I think you can when you place it. I also could be wrong with that, but it'll be fine for just what I'm trying to show off. This is good, I think. But yeah, so this is a really nice feature and it gives you a lot of like it makes it just lets you create whatever you want and things can clip through each other and it's just really nice. And I'm really glad that they went with this building system that and I'm I really think that all tycoon games from this point on will go with that since Planet Coaster kind of that they were the ones who really, really pushed that on. And I think it's a really good, really good system. And really easy to work with and really easy to learn. It's kind of overwhelming, but if you go in with an idea of what you want, or even if you don't have an idea, I spent two hours working on something that I had no idea what I wanted to do last night, and it kind of turned out okay. Like, this turns out really, really bad. This does not look good at all. But I made that, and that's... I like it. I think it's going to stay here for the whole series. Now this kind of looks stupid, but now we can. what we can do is we can local space, go over a little bit because it was kind of off-center, and put it up a little bit, and there we go. There's that. Um, what else would we want to do to this building? We could... I don't know if there's anything physically we could do to, like, walls-wise, but we can add a window if we wanted. The windows don't look great, I'll be honest. They don't look good at all. I don't like using them. I like using them to kind of cover things up or make them look a little better, but I don't know. I don't usually like them. Or we can go with this perfect wall sign that says Dinosaurios, and it just is perfect for our park since we're the El Parque de Dinosaurios. And it's actually, whenever you push a line to surface, it actually goes the wrong way, I think. I think it's supposed to look, oh, I don't actually want to put it there because that's not where I want it. I actually want to put it right, let's hold up. I'm going to put it over here, and I wonder if I could actually press Z to rotate it 90 degrees. Yes, I could. So we're going to put it over here, just like this. And then if we do that, we don't want people hitting their heads off of it. But if we do that, and then we just go here, move, and move it out to the right position, then it looks good. And look, it's just a nice little wall sign. It doesn't really make any sense with the building that it's on. But I like it. I like this little dinosaurios. It's a little pizza place. Would you not want to go there and have a nice Millennium Burger or ice cream? Very overpriced food, by the way. Don't. I would not recommend to buy any of that. But there was one other thing. Oh yeah, and that's what they added these interactive for. Is you can put benches. I would be able to put a bench here if I want to. What we're actually gonna do? To make this all look a little better is we're gonna go custom paths and not custom paths concrete paths and we're gonna make all of this paved paved is what I meant not paved what am I talking about but make it kind of like a little plaza area that people can go get their food and they can go sit here and eat and it'll look nice people can get off their plane go over here and get food at this crappy little pizza place. It could be good pizza, I don't know. Any pizza's good pizza, what am I talking about? And we're just gonna put some of these around everywhere so people can go sit at these benches. It'll just add a little bit of variety to the park, I think. We might never see these again. There's a very good chance we never come back to this ever, but you never know. It's kind of like a maze of people and benches. Um, this bench is huge for some reason, but I could scale it down, like I said, if I wanted. 
So I'm actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to scale it down. Just like, oh, there we go. Just like that. So if people want to sit on a curved bench, a nice curved bench, they can sit on a nice curved bench. And this is a good place to put another thing that I really, that I think I said something about last episode that I didn't know was in here. It was under vegetation. A pteranodon rock, that's exactly what I want. I'm going to set a pteranodon rock right there, and that's what that's for. That's what I said. Oh, I think we're supposed to put a tree on it. That's what it was. That's what it's for. We're supposed to put a tree on it, of course. Just kidding. That's not what we're supposed to do. I'm going to go ahead and delete that, because that was dumb. And somewhere in here, I believe it is under other. I think it's under other. I only know this because I saw it whenever I almost use it. Oh, there's two of them. There's Pteranodon Skeleton 1, where I can align the surface, and it'll sit right on top of there perfectly, because that's what it was designed for, is this. That's why it's called Pteranodon Rock, so the Pteranodon Skeleton can sit on top of it and look all majestic and such. Or there's this one that you can... That's definitely not supposed to go on this rock, but I could put that... I could hang that from somewhere if I wanted, or maybe what I could do is put that on top. No, I'm not going to... Mm. Yeah, I'm going to put that right there, and then another one over here. Doesn't make any sense, but there we go. So, that's the little building tutorial that I got for you guys. Um, to <laughs> waste a little bit of time while we got some money to buy some more skins for our Velociraptors. But yeah, so that's, look at what we were able to make in just a little bit of time. And that's what I love, like I said about this game, is you can make anything, even rocks that are somehow, our people can walk through. I love that the visitors actually can sit on the benches at this point in development. I didn't actually think that they could. Huh. Interesting. But yeah, we're load or er, we're uh, raking in the money now. We have loads. So what we're gonna do is go set the time to a good time and not a stupid time. And these look a lot smaller. I'm pretty positive they just got a lot smaller, and I'm not really sure why. Did I accidentally? There we go. Okay. Yeah, that was weird. I'm going to go to world map, and where are our raptors? They're in this one. Uncommon. We know all these are raptor skins because it's the only dinosaur in this area. Wastelander, not the one I'm looking for. I give that one a 7 out of 10. Arctic Fowl, not the one I'm looking for. 6 out of 10. Uh, what's this one going to be? Is it going to be it? Mm, flame, not the one I'm looking for, but that's like an 8 out of 10. That looks really cool, I will say. Uh, Vulture, not the one we're looking for. 7 out of 10. Is it really a poor? My favorite skin is a poor skin. Yes, look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Ice, that's the one we're looking for, and I think that's all of them. Yeah. My favorite one was the last one, of course. Oh man, it just, I can't wait. I just love how it looks. It looks so good. Um, which hatchery was it? It was this hatchery. Uh, we're gonna go over to Velociraptor. And I don't remember which ones we do and don't have. We have that one. Ice. One of you. We don't have Vulture. Um, Flame, we don't have. Wastelander, we don't have. We do have Spitfire, we do have Arctic Fowl. No, we don't have Arctic Fowl. Maybe, we might have Fireberry, we do have Countryside. I don't know. We have a bunch of Raptors anyway. And we can look at our old ones, see how they're doing. They all appear to be having a nice drink here. Actually, they're doing something else. They, uh, kids, turn your, turn your head away. Don't watch. Uh, that is, that is very inappropriate. Hope my video, that's not monetized, doesn't get demonetized by YouTube. Um, yeah, this one's over here just doing his own thing. This is a, my second favorite skin. I think. I think this is my second favorite skin. This one looks really good. Yeah, he's just having a nice bite to eat. Uh, they're going to be really crowded in here once they add a lot more of those little bad boys. Now, this guy over here, we're not going to do this episode because I have something else in plan for him. But uh, we need to find someone to put in this nice long exhibit here with palm trees, I believe, is what they are. We have a Baryonyx. Uh, Carcharodontosaurus, possibly. It's kind of a skinny exhibit for him. Kintrosaurus? Mm, no. 
Carnotaurus. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, we're going to put a nice Carnotaurus in here. No, not you. Not Argentinosaurus. I almost said Argentavis. No, not Argentinosaurus. Get out of my face. I don't like Argentinosaurus. I have to put that out there. Do not like it one bit. Yes, Carnotaurus. No, we're just looking for some skins. Because I don't like the normal skin for him, really. Savannah? Eh, okay. I actually don't think I have a favorite skin for the Carnotaurus. Do not like this skin. It's my favorite Argentinosaurus skin, though. So, there you go. Still don't like it. Bloodlust, good enough. We want a Bloodlust Carno. I think that is exactly what we're looking for. Who doesn't want a Bloodthirsty Carno? Uh, that's Bloodlust, I know. But, still. I want a Bloodthirsty Carno. Banoffee? See, I hate that. I do not like that skin at all. It's just ugly colors. Bloodlust, I like that. Yeah, I really like you. I'm going to purchase you. And Blue Sky, I haven't seen. I don't think Cheetah is okay. Cheeto. Cheeto? Cheeto. There are three O's. That's not how you spell Cheeto, is it? I'm pretty positive. I'm 95% sure that's not how you spell Cheeto. Three O's should never go together. Ever. Um, or Savannah. Eh. And Vanilla. Okay, yeah, we picked the best skin. Um, we need to make sure that we actually put some food in here for this guy, because he probably wouldn't appreciate it very much if we didn't have food in there for him. He would probably, he is bloodthirsty, so probably would not appreciate that very much. And what we're going to do, also in this episode, to round it out, is find another herbivore to put in, oh, I thought the game was crashing and I just had a mini heart attack. We're going to find another herbivore to put in here, and I think I know exactly what we want. I do know exactly what we want. We want a Stego. We're going to put a Stego in with our galleys. I do like the regular Stegosaurus, the regular Stegosaurus skin, but there is one in particular that we're looking for. It is this one. Blue Raspberry. Looks amazing. Everything blue, honestly, I think is what my favorite kind of dinosaur is. That's my type. That's my type of dinosaur. It's a blue dinosaur. Whose kind of dinosaur isn't? Whoever tells you that they're kind of di that their kind of dinosaur isn't a blue dinosaur, they're wrong. They're lying to you. 100%. Okay, there we go. Stegosaurus Stinops. You can read these on your own if you want. I don't really feel like reading all of them right now. I do love that they put this information in because... And I really hope that it's all correct. Because I love learning about dinosaurs. I have a bunch of dinosaur encyclopedias. I wanted to be a paleontologist for the longest time. But... I figured out it was probably not the best job for me. We'll go with one blue raspberry and one jungle. Because jungle looks good. But yeah, we'll let these little guys grow up. And I'm still not going to tell you what's in this exhibit. What's going to be in this exhibit over here. It's going to be a favorite, I think, of many people. Even though I'm personally not that much of a fan of it. Uh, leave your guesses in the comment section down below, please. Thanks. But, um... We can kind of check out some of these guys now. Look at how small these raptors come out, by the way. You can hardly see them in the... Is he even out? I don't know. You can hardly see them in the grass, though, whenever they do walk out. And I do not like that, because they're super tiny. And all of them might have grown up by now, because at this... Right now, they do grow up pretty fast in the game, I know. Like, they improve the growth rate. Just so you can see, because that's mainly all you can do in the game right now, is just look at the dinosaurs, and I'm not com- Are you sleeping? Or are you dead? There's a- there's one. This is my favorite, right here. And they are all just- they are having the grand old party over here. This guy, he is a- he wants to be a Mosasaur, I think. I think that's what he wants to be. Either that, or he's suicidal. I'm not sure- I'm not really sure which one. He might be drowning himself, or this guy may be drowning him. I don't know. We'll leave them to it. Yeah, um, so there are all of our raptors. They're still not grown up, but we will make sure to look at them in the next episode. This guy is still eating. He was eating here the last time we checked on him. That was like at least $100,000 ago. That's a lot of money ago. Because that's how everyone, um, that's how they tell their time, is in monies. Is our Carno out yet? Yes, he is. And he's looking very bloodlusty. All the dinosaurs right now kind of look like they have a tint of blue. I don't know if that's the skin or if that's like something with the shading or what. But yeah, I'm not really sure what that is. But he, there he goes. He's eating the meat. That's a 
big bone right there that you're eating. That's like a... I don't even know what that's a bone of, but it's very big, and you didn't really do much to it. You just kind of bit into it once or twice. He has a very short mouth. His mouth... I feel like his head should be longer. Maybe not. I don't know. That's why I'm not a paleontologist. And last but not least... We can look at our galleys. We never actually did that last episode, did we? Or did we? This guy's stuck, and my game's starting to lag a lot, and I'm hoping it doesn't get very much worse. If it does, I'm not really sure what we'll do. Honestly. No idea. But, um, yeah. Here are our stegos. They're probably going to be in here a while. I hope they figure out how to get out, because if not, then they'll die. And that's not what we want now, is it? They do have a nice little picture over here. This is right from the screen of uh where you like the hatchery screen as you can see this is actually like this is a t-rex but i'm pretty sure this is from earlier this isn't this game like this isn't this version of the game because this has like price diet period size that's definitely not in here is it i'm gonna make sure no it's 100 percent not yes yeah, so that's from like an older build or something possibly but you get a little glimpse of something that we might have in our park hint hint Maybe, possibly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I guess you'll have to wait and see until next episode, or maybe the next episode after that, or after that. I haven't really decided yet. But we got two more, no, three more dinos in this episode. We got two more enclosures done. But um, yeah, thank you for joining me. I hope you learned a little bit from my little building tutorial, um, and learned a little bit about dinosaurs. Enjoyed the time, and uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.